Hey friends, we're gonna do a brisket today, or actually tonight, we'll put it on tonight, it'll be ready by tomorrow. And I'm doing it old school, I'm not trimming it. I'm just trying a different way that some friends of mine have done it. So they use lemon pepper, um, seasoned salt, and some black pepper and garlic powder. And they just make a rub out of all those seasonings and just rub it all over on both sides. And then we're just gonna set it right on the smoker and I'm gonna set it on low, probably about 180 to 190. And we're gonna smoke it all night, and then I'll check it in the morning on the internal temperature. And then I'll probably wrap it. I'm gonna try putting some of this butcher paper on it. I don't know, we'll see. I may, I may just leave it on there all the way, just all the time like this, because I like the bark. So, anyways. What's a bark? The bark. Tell it's just the crust. It's, it's all the seasons that turn black. It kind of looks like it's burnt, but it ain't. Mm -hmm. That's the good part. That's uh, wonderful. That's the kind you want to cut off and eat. So, anyways, we're going to get it all rubbed down, seasoned up, and then we'll be ready to uh, put it on the smoker here in just a little bit. It looks like he's using a lot, but that's what you want to do, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. What'd you do? Mix it all up in well, that? Well, it's kind of. It's got some moisture in it or something, so mm -hmm. it's not. So I'm gonna uh, now put this on there. Is that the lemon pepper that you just put That's on there? Lemon, yeah, okay. Put that first. And then the Lowry's. Sometimes he's mixed it all together in a tub and then just dipped the brisket in there, haven't you? And I'm going to probably cook it with a fat side up mm -hmm. when I put it in the smoker. Okay. Both sides? Yeah. And I don't usually wash it. I don't use I try not to do anything because it'll help the moisture that's on here will help all this stuff to, to <laughs> stick to the meat. And it may look like a lot, but I'll see them put the guys that, that I've watched do, they put way more than this. But And some guys smoke them about 18 hours or whatever. I'm going to probably go on this one until the internal temperature is about one anywhere from 185 to 190 it's done and then i'll put it in a a cooler i don't know i may not do that we'll see i've done that before but when you do that then your bark gets um soft so if we do it this way the bark will stay on all the time or stay crusty and crunchy like we like i've heard some people doing um taking it back out of the ice chest after they let it rest for, or let it cool down because it'll continue to cook in the ice chest. But I've seen them um, take it back out, put it back on the smoker if you want to, if you want to uh, wrap yours, you know. Just everybody does it different. There's, there's about a thousand ways to cook brisket or smoke brisket in Texas or Texas recipes, but anyways. We're going to try it this way this time and see what how we like it. You got the smoker on? Smoker's already going, mm -hmm. heating up. I'm using a Traeger um, pellet smoker with hickory uh, pellets. And uh, I'll probably put me some kind of strap on that thing in case Coon decides he wants to get in there tonight. Good idea. I would hate for him to get to this chunk of meat. It would be awful. Because he would die suddenly. Anyways, we'll talk to you later. I'll put the, that on the bottom. Put the fat side up. Marty smells good. Yeah, smell that smoke. He thinks the wood tastes better though, the old timey way.
think we're gonna get one. Right, darling? We'll see. That's what I used to have and it finally rusted out on me. And I got it to where I could uh, pretty much get it set, choke down, get it set the way I want it. And it would uh, not get too hot. It would stay the same temperature for hours. But anyways, this is the lazy way, but these are the pellets that you just put in there. And there's a hopper that turns and feeds them. So. So what happens? All right. See you in the morning. Been going all night. Yeah. Internal temperature needs to be about 180 to 185 to be done. And we're about one, we're at 150 something. About 155. So we need to go for a little while longer. Yeah, we're at 155. So look at that glaze. All right, we'll just let it keep going for a while. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay, this gets up to about 215 and then drops down about 198 to somewhere in there. It doesn't, that's about as warm as you, you don't want to get above 220, 215. See, now it's dropping back down as the pellets fall in there and the fire starts. So, it's been in there since uh, about 9.30 last night and it's about 12.30 now, so uh, about four hours so 15 and that's what it looks like and we'll see what kind of temperature we are right here in the part of the part of it we want it to be about 180 That's all going on on this wonderful Saturday. We got one son getting ready for deer season. We always need one more feeder. And another son mowing. Where's he at? Oh, and they're also got a project of working on this boat. The new axle, we're going to totally redo this boat. It's going to be new axles, new wheels. The boat's going to be painted. New bar, uh, light bars, new er everything's going to be new tires, everything. Yeah, uh, axle got, bent, so got it upside down right now, fixing that axle. To, uh, come weld these hangers on, of course. And there's the other son. <laughs> Busy day. Relaxing day, though.
And why is that better than full? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know. It just tells you that I've seen a lot of different videos of people doing it. It, it what it does, it uh, it says if you wrap it tightly with that, it locks in moisture uh, versus it doesn't allow it to be over smoked, like, unlike foil. It's porous, allows smoke to penetrate the meat while still maintaining to keep the moisture in. Mm, okay. Let's see what time is it? Three o'clock. So oh, ended up cooking about From nine, about nine, nine thirty to about three o'clock. Actually, about two thirty because it's been resting for about thirty minutes, right? Yeah. Mmm, smells delicious. Okay, which side do you want to eat off of? Uh, I don't care. Try it? You try it. We'll both try it. Any good? You see. Mmm. Got a really good flavor. No, it's not so good. They'll give it to the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. This is delicious. You're missing out by not being here. We'll see y'all next time. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.